I'm back, everyone. You may be in a situation where for some reason you keep getting some sort of, you know, your carrier may charge for SMS message type of message on your iPhone. Now, there's a couple of reasons why this may happen. If you've randomly been getting this issue, but you recently did something major, like you updated your iPhone or you changed your iPhone, like you went from one iPhone to the other, or you switched carriers, there can be some times where it may take a little bit of time for your iPhone itself to discover those new changes, and that can take a temporary effect, especially if you just inputted a SIM card and it was not working for a while, then it's working now. Well, that can possibly be the issue. But one of the big things you can do to just double check and make sure that it's not some major issue going on is to actually make your way over to your settings application like this. You want to go and make your way over to your general settings. So you want to click on general here. You then want to go and click on date and time, which is right here. And what it's going to allow you to do is to either set automatically your time zone, change the time zone if you want to. All you want to do is make sure the date and time settings that you're in are compatible and exactly 100% right to where you are as a location. So if I'm in New York or whatever the time zone is, you just want to make sure that's accurate to where you are, and that can pretty much alleviate one of the biggest issues here. If for some reason you do that and that's not working, well, again, you may want to go ahead and either just you know toggle this off and toggle it back on and kind of go from there, or manually change your time zone to where you are actually as a person right now. Now, for some reason that doesn't work, another thing you can do is to actually update your iPhone. So what you can do here is you can make your way back into the general settings right here. You then want to go and click on software update, which is right there. And you want to go and see if there's an update available for your iPhone. Now, you can see for me personally, I just updated my iPhone, so there's no update right now. But if you recently updated your iPhone, this may be causing the issue as well. Sometimes if you're getting some random issue like this, there's really nothing you can do. You just have to wait until either Apple pushes out an update again. You can also try if there is an update available, though, you want to update to it, and that will probably fix it as well. Now, you can also try powering down your phone. So you can hold down the buttons, the power up button, or the power the power button and the volume up button. Hold these buttons up until your phone actually restarts. And you wanna go and slide the power off and you wanna to slide the to power back on your iPhone. And that can also fix this issue as well. Now, if you're still having some issues, another thing I'd recommend doing is to actually go ahead and see what type of you know SIM card issue you're having. You may wanna go and take out your SIM card on your phone, go and put it back in. You wanna see if that has any effect to it or if that changes anything either. But again, you may just have to wait until you know there's a push from Apple to fix this issue from their updates because most of the time this is usually just an update issue and that's pretty much it. Now if you don't have iMessage enabled or anything like that either, you should still be okay, but do keep in mind this may be a temporary thing and it may be just a temporary pop-up and that's pretty much what you'll just have to deal with at this point. So that kind of covers it. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.